I was asked to be part of a committee to develop this thing in 1993. And for some reason, I'm still hanging around. <laughs> it is a very interesting story how we acquired the house. It was in an estate, and one of our foundation board members at the hospital, Ron Hahn, uh, was buying the house and gonna make it into a rental property. And he heard what we were doing, and he said, you guys can buy that house from me. He says, why not? It's right there, it's close by. And we signed a land, uh, land contract agreement with Ron, and, uh, started off from there. Well, when we started off, this was called Mother Care Home because Women's Care Center, having been one of our original partners, it kind of played off a of women care, mother care. Just didn't sell from a marketing standpoint. We, we just, uh, it didn't work. So we went to the Bible, uh, Hannah being a woman who was wanting a child and needing, and uh, finally had a child, just made sense. Uh, that uh, a mothering type name of Hannah would be just so fitting, and that's how we made the change. The early beginnings of Hannah's house was out of, out of a group called the Mishawaka Alliance for Care. And it consisted of community leaders, mainly the St. Joseph Hospital, Community Hospital in Mishawaka, Bethel College, the Women's Care Center, and the Diocese of Fort Wayne South Bend got together to make this happen. Right from the very beginning, when we set up the house, we knew that it had to be a faith-based community. And that was primary, that this would be a Christian home with, uh, with the spiritual component uh, involved in it. Being the right thing to do is just kind of what our work is. We find and have found that over the years, even though the demographics have changed, there are women who are homeless or kicked out or whatever it happens to be and they're having a baby and they need a place and there's, there is no other place in all of Northern Indiana that uh, does what we do 24 seven. Well, the second home evolved uh, on 4th Street, right across the street, ironically, it was available. And at the time we were looking at our numbers and it looked like we were kind of had maxed out on size in the house and maybe we needed more room for more women, more babies. Well, as it turned out, we really didn't need that, but we did need a place where ladies could, the women and the children could go before they were ready necessarily to just be on their own. So it's served now as a transition home. The Bridge of Hope piece of this came about uh, out of another need. That was a separate organization in St. Joe County, Bridge of Hope of St. Joe County. And it's, a, it's a, uh, a step a little beyond what we uh, do. They, uh, they were looking at uh, women that were homeless, needing a place, maybe needing a job, had a child, were on their own already, but not quite making it. And so they were kind of struggling a little bit and we thought, well, if we were to merge these two organizations together, it would make a sense from a transition standpoint for our ladies going forward. The mission of Hannah's House reflects the spiritual bond of a home, of bringing together a woman, her baby, uh, while it's in the womb and after it is born in a healthy environment. Uh, we're so proud of the fact that our, amongst our mission, like 99% of the women have had healthy babies. To learn more about Hannah's House, visit maternityhomewithaheart.org. My name is Bill Killalay, and I'm a proud believer in the mission of Hannah's House. Mm -hmm.